See how much dust is on our craft paper? I just swept that just a little bit. That's what I want to do with everything because it just, when you, when you walk on it, it just flies all over the place. So um, it's always good to have a nice clean environment to work, especially when you start with painting. Before you start sweeping this, make sure you've got your air conditioner off and any fans or anything else. You don't want this to get up in your air conditioning and heating system. I'm really glad I put this craft paper all the way down on the floor because I'm just going to leave it there. It's easy to sweep up and I'm not going to have to worry about any paint spills or tripping over a drop cloth that's setting down or what have you. So You could also, um, there's some sawdust compound that you can get at the store. It's a sweeping compound and you can sprinkle that over the floor. And I didn't even think about getting some of that, but I probably should have. I usually do that if it's a concrete floor and throw that around first, then sweep up, and it keeps the dust down to a minimum. I didn't think about putting that down on craft paper, but I guess you can do that too. So uh, if you've got any, if you got any windows around, you can prop those open just a little. That'll help some of this uh, dust escape, or if you've got a, a, an outside door, you can open that just a little. Just crack it open a little and see if it's going to work. As long as it's not too breezy outside. If it's breezy outside, you don't want anything blowing in, obviously. But lots of times it has a tendency to a natural suction to suck out the dust. So, so try that too. Okay, here's one more thing I don't want you to miss. You've got to sweep up this floor twice like this before you start your painting. Now if you start your painting first and then you start sweeping up the walls, all of this dust is going to get on your new paint. Now granted, some of this dust that you're sweeping up is going to get on the walls and you could lightly dust down your walls again before you start painting as we did after we uh, sanded the walls. But once we sanded the walls, we, dust, we, we uh, took the broom and broomed down the walls. And if some of this dust gets back up on the walls, it's not enough really to make too much difference. Now you can you can make the decision on your on your own if you feel like you want to uh, sweep down your walls again after this. You can do that. Just remember that all that dust is going to come back down on on the floor, but it's going to be less obviously than what we've got on the floor from sanding the actual walls. You know, once you put your once you put your primer coat up, you're going to get Whatever little bit of dust that you have left on your walls at that point is going to be covered and blended in with your primer. Then when you put your uh, two coats of finish paint on there, you're fine. You just don't want to finish all your painting or get into your finished paint and think, oh shoot, I, I better sweep up all my walls or all my floors. You don't want to do that at that time. You want to just keep that dust down here. but. The idea is to, to have most of this dust off the floor before you start your painting, okay?